Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Logitech C920 with the Logitech Streamcam. Both of these are 1080p webcams. The Streamcam is 60 frames per second capable, the C920 is 30 frames per second. There's a massive price difference between the two though. The Streamcam is the newer of the options and it comes in at around $130 or £120. But it is a really interesting device. Now I've recently unboxed and reviewed this camera and I really like it. It's a very good looking camera that's available in white and black. It comes with two different mounts. One is a tripod mount and the other one's a monitor mount and it also is interesting because it comes with a USB-C connection that's worth knowing if you're thinking about purchasing one because you need to know whether your PC or laptop has a USB-C port on it to start with most webcams traditionally have a USB-A connection you can see it has a really nice style to it but it also is interesting in other ways that I'll show you later in the video C920 by comparison is a 1080p 30 frames per second camera that's also tripod mountable and you are able to put it on top of your monitor. It only has a landscape aspect to it though and the footage isn't quite as good and you'll see some footage comparison at the end of this video so stick with me to check that out. But it is very affordable and a reliable and trustworthy camera. I've actually been using mine, this tatty battered thing, for quite a few years and it is reasonably capable of delivering a pretty good experience and you will find it around a lot you'll also find deals on it regularly black friday for example it often comes down to about 20 pounds 30 dollars something like that so it's really cheap it's roughly about 80 at the moment so it's not terribly affordable now so if you are thinking about buying one i'd leave it till later in the year and try and pick it up as a bargain price however it is a pretty boring looking webcam at the end of the day it's not that exciting especially when compared with the stream cam as you can see it does have some tilt to it so you can mount it quite comfortably on the top of most monitors and then bend and tilt it the stream cam is a bit more flexible the mount is quite similar in that it extends in quite a few different ways and has a nice big clip on it that you can clip to the back of your monitor but you will notice as you saw earlier in the video that you can also extend that quite tall and there's a lot of tilt and bend in it so not only does it tilt up and down but it also goes side to side and it's a bit more flexible in its setup and the way you can position it as i said it also has a secondary mount that you can clip on really easily and then you can attach it to a tripod now i've shown this off on a full-size tripod in another video and here it is on a mini tripod as well. The other highlight of this camera is that you can mount it in both landscape and portrait settings and you can use it in portrait mode to capture video for Instagram and Facebook that sort of thing where you need the square video and a sort of 16 by 9 aspect ratio video so it's pretty interesting in that way. They are both very capable cameras that deliver great results. Check out the footage now. And this is what the quality of the camera is like. Note before I get started, this is the default settings. The slightly more washed out one that you can see here on this side, this side uh, is the uh, C920 and the more colorful but slightly darker looking one is the Logitech Stream Cam. Now this is with the default settings for both cameras. I'm using OBS you'll see Elgato green screen behind me so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on a couple of key lights uh, just to get a bit bright brightness turn them down because that's really bright and then just to somewhere about three and a three thousand kilometers something like that and you can see the difference actually just going through that you can see how the cameras handle the color difference and uh, adjust the Streamcam is uh, better adjusting to the light. It's also, uh, as default settings, a bit crisper and just a bit more effective at autofocus, uh, which is pretty good. And you see the difference. I'm going to apply a chroma filter in a minute so you can get an idea of what that's like and what a difference that makes. But we can obviously go in and we can change the settings of the cameras as well so that's something we're going to do now and just going to adjust the settings on the c920 to start with 
and you give you an idea of the difference between those two. If I go in and just tweak, so if I can and just adjust the saturation, for example, turn the brightness down, a touch, change the contrast. And obviously, you can tweak this stuff within the camera settings as well. So they both require a bit of playing around with, but. On default settings, it's immediately obvious uh, the stream cam does a better job of handling things. So you can really tweak both of these cameras. But as default, I do feel like the stream cam does a better job. It's a bit crisper. So both of them do a good job. And they're both 1080p. So this is 1920 by 1080 and then I obviously fit it to the screen by cropping it. Um, but you can see the difference is uh, the stream cam has a lot more color to it and it does work a bit better in terms of focusing. You can see the difference between the two. Autofocus. Right now, I'm applying a filter to this one. Filters. Because this is the sort of thing you're gonna be doing probably. Put a chroma key on. Now I've got a black background. And same for the C920. Chroma key for that. And here you can see the C920 has a little bit more difficulty. Now we can play around with the settings, but those were both default settings. Let's see if I can tweak it and make it a bit better. Adjust it. So I've just gone in and adjusted the green screen filter settings on that. But the stream cam has worked a little bit better with that. So we just put an image in the background. And you can see the difference there as well. Again, it's just a, it's not a higher resolution, uh, but the stream cam does a better job of colors and focus and handling the changes in brightness. Uh, it generally just makes you look a bit nicer. Obviously it helps if you happen to have some good lighting as well. So the Elgato lights are really helping with that. But I look really pale on the C920 but you can adjust uh, the colours and all the settings in there to change it and tweak it make quite a bit of difference but still it does look a lot better the stream cam is a much nicer and you obviously have the other option of mounting it in portrait mode so actually I'll show you that as well which you can't do with the Z920 because it's not designed to do that and I have shown it off in a, another video but what I'll quickly do is I'll bring in another one see if we can do this just put that over the C920. This is another stream camera I've got set up on my desk so you can just see my hands. And this is in portrait, this camera, and that uh, you can just turn the camera around and put it in the stand in a different way and it clips in really easily. And then you can use that footage for Instagram or whatever else. And the good thing about it is when you've got it in uh, OBS you can crop the black out, simply adjust it to compensate for that and you can, there we go, that's better. And then you can see you can get rid of the black bars. You can also maybe even adjust it slightly more so we can transform that. Uh, we'll crop the top as well. And then the bottom, no, probably better at zero. And then 50, there you go. And now you can see just the area of the keyboard that I want you to WASD and you can use that for streaming in various ways and that's nice because it's in that portrait position uh, so like you can use it in this way or you could use it for doing square videos for Instagram or Facebook for example so having that ability to then switch between those two is really beneficial and it's really easy to do and uh, the design of the stream cam just means that you get a better picture uh, better quality of image it's not 4k but it just handles the light the autofocus and other things a lot more effectively good stuff eh
This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.